There are four things that make memory stick. And this is after 25 or 30 years studying the hippocampus and, and how memories work. Number one is obvious, repetition. Okay. You, you remember things with repetition. Number two, not as obvious, association. The hippocampus is an associative structure. It associates one thing with the other. Uh, for example, your name and your face. So I'm, you know, I just met you and I'm, I, I will remember your name and your face now. But uh, it also helps you remember things like who's married to each other, associating the husband with the wife. Have you heard of the memory palace? Yes. Yes. So this is a technique that has been used for many, many ages uh, to help remember things. And it is a strategy where you picture a spatial location that's very familiar to you, like your childhood home. And when you need to remember a list of items, you take an imaginative walk through that very familiar environment and place those items in particular locations in the environment. That is associating something really familiar, your childhood home, you know every corner of it, with the new thing you need to remember. And that works uh, and has worked for memory champions for many years because the hippocampus associates things together. Number three is novelty. We remember novel things. I've never been to this particular studio ever before in my 26 years in New York and Brooklyn. So this is a novel thing. And I, rem I will remember coming here uh, to do this podcast with you. Our attention system focuses on things that are novel. Why? Because it could be dangerous. If I've seen it's things over and over and over again, I don't notice them. They go into the background. It's not going to hurt me any you know, it, it's not it's not going to cause me any danger. Cliché. That's why cliché doesn't work in marketing. Exactly. Yeah. And so, but something novel, ooh, that really uh, perks people up. I use that in my teaching all the time. Surprise students uh, with uh, an element of what you want them to learn, and they will remember it better. But the fourth one, which is so powerful, and we know it intuitively, we understand this intuitively, is emotional resonance makes things more memorable. We remember the happiest and the saddest things in our lives because that emotional resonance solidifies those memories. Where does that come from? It comes from a structure called the amygdala that sits right in front of the hippocampus, right in the front of the temporal lobe right here. And the hippocampus is right behind it. Amygdala means almond. It's an almond-shaped structure, and it sits right in front of um, the kind of tube-shaped structure that is the hippocampus behind it. And the amygdala is kind of infusing uh, the hippocampus and kind of giving, a, giving it a little jolt 